But before these grandstands are filled, the road to becoming a part of this amazing sport starts with a 7 a.m. wake-up call. For the last 90 years, Sagamore Farms here in Maryland has been raising and training some of the country's finest thoroughbreds. And I'm here to experience that proud horse racing tradition. The horse in our culture, it's a part of our fabric. I mean, if you think about it, our land was settled on horseback. In fact, before America was even a country, horse racing had a proud and rich history right here in Baltimore with the Preakness. The Preakness, it's the second jewel of the Triple Crown. The first race dates back to 1743 and George Washington attending the races here in Maryland and the eyes of the world are upon Baltimore for that one weekend. Originally founded by the Vanderbilt family in 1925, Sagamore was world renowned for its horse breeding and racing. But after falling on hard times, Kevin Plank, CEO of Under Armour, purchased the property with the goal of restoring it to its former glory. Kevin said it, no one really owns Sagamore, you just you take care of it and just really you give the folks in Maryland, the folks of Baltimore, and everyone in the horse industry something to be proud of. There's a rooster. Yeah, that's the barn rooster. His name is Sphinx. Um, we have plenty of barn cats as There's well. There's a black cat right here. I feel yeah. like this is, I'm like in a fairy tale right now. They help keep morale up. You know, they keep horses being herd animals. You know, they certainly like their company. And that you can see how the stalls are set up where they can hang their heads out. They can see one another. Mm -hmm. And uh, horses are just like people. People, they have their personalities, you know, some that are really kind, and then you have one, others that are, you know, SOBs. <laughs> sure. Her? Yeah, her name's Polyester. Hi, Polyester. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. It's crazy. You don't realize, like, what intense animals they are until yeah. you're right here in front of them. And that's because these aren't just horses. These are thoroughbreds. What makes a horse a thoroughbred horse? Basically, it goes back to uh, 300 years ago. In Britain, they exported three stallions from the Middle East. And the idea is that they're trying to build speed into the horses in Britain. And it's basically, it's a man-made breed. You know, there's really good ones. They just love to compete. They're competitive and they don't want to lose. And these big races you'll see in this, uh, in this Triple Crown series, it's really just a test of fortitude. The animals are huge and like so muscular and, and over, you know, kind of intimidating. Watch yourself. Well, I'd love to see them train. Can we head out and watch them? Sure, you bet. All right. So this track, it's uh, three quarters of a mile. Oh, here's a horse. Seeing these majestic animals and seeing that they're actually athletes in themselves really gives me a whole new perspective on the sport. Winston Churchill was friendly with you. There's something about the outside of a horse that's good for the inside of a man. You, know, you get up next to these animals, their beauty and and then too, you know, when you see their athletic prowess and sometimes you just can't explain it, but when you get it, you get it. And that's what horses and horse racing, that's what it's all about.